Hello, pioneers. Welcome back to class. Look outside, guys. It is so pretty. I can't wait to get outside and maybe go on some adventures in a little while. All right, let's get started with our morning time routine. You guys ready? Let's go. What day is today? Yesterday was what day? Wednesday. If yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday. Good job. Today is Thursday, March 26, 2020. And how do we get a 26? With a two and a six. All right, let's count the days. You guys ready? All right, follow along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Woohoo! All righty. Now it's time to check the weather. All right, so this is the time that you're going to go pick out out of your out, blah, 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 pick out your window or open the front door and i'm going to count to 50 by five all right uh hurry up one two three go five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty well we're there that was quick all right you guys back what is the weather like at your house here at school, although it doesn't look like I'm in my classroom because I'm not, I'm actually in the front office today, but here at school outside, it's super sunny. And this morning, it wasn't quite warm this morning, but it is going to be warm. So because I'm very excited about that, I, go ahead, I went ahead and chose warm. Sunny and warm. I hope that it's like that at your house too. All right, time for a story. I have a fun book today. Um, it's called Pluto Visits Earth, and this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it? All right. And so we're going to work on our KWL chart. Some of the things that we know about the story. Let's see. I know there are planets. Cause can you see? There's a big planet there. Um, let's see. I know there are people. Can you see the people? And I know there's an alien because like, he's just hanging out right here. All right. Let's, some of the things that I would like to learn. I want to know how the people can talk to the planet. So it looks like these here, these people here, can you see, are talking to the planet there. I wonder how they can do that. I want to know if the people can visit the planet. And I want to know if the alien visits the planet too. All right, let's get started. Pluto visits the planet, uh, visits Earth by Steve Metzger. It was a quiet day in the universe when Pluto got the news. It might be a little dark, sorry about that. <laughs> hey Pluto, shouted Speedy the Space Rock, who was racing by with his friends. You're not a planet anymore. What are you talking about, Pluto asked. Astronomers on Earth say you're a dwarf planet, not a real planet. A dwarf planet, Pluto shouted. Wait a minute, tell me more. That's the way the comet crumbles, Speedy said. Pluto turned purple with rage. How can this be, he shouted. I'm madder than a Martian. Pluto called, called out to his three moons. Do I look small? Not to me, big guy, Nick said. Well, you're twice as big as I am, Sharon added. Pluto thought, I remember when I was named by Phoenicia Burney, that nice English girl. But now this year, a dwarf planet? Huh. I'll go visit Earth and demand to be a real planet again. And with a mighty thrust, Pluto, <laughs> Pluto left his orbit and zoomed toward Earth. <laughs> he asked other planets to help him out along the way. He saw Neptune in the distance. Halt, who goes there? Neptune shouted, friends or UFO? Hi there, little buddy, Neptune boomed. Hey, I heard the big news. That's too bad. What brings you here? I'm on my way to Earth, Pluto replied. I want to be a regular planet again. Will you join me? Mm, sorry, Pluto, Neptune said. I'd love to, but I've got 13 moons to look after. I'm just too busy. 
The other planets were no help either. Uranus was too scared. I might get hit by a meteor shower. <gasps> Saturn was too vain. <laughs> Did you ever see such beautiful rings? Jupiter was too bossy. Get out of my way, small fry. Mars was too distracted. Not today. It's Mars Day. The Martians are celebrating. Woohoo! Pluto didn't even bother visiting Venus and Mercury. They were out of his way. Look at all of those news articles. Pluto put on the brakes at Mount Baldy Observatory and hovered above the astronomers. Two of them stepped forward. Why did you make me a dwarf planet? Pluto thundered. The astronomers trembled. Uh, first of all, Mr. Pluto, astronomer A said in a shaky voice, you are small, much smaller than the other eight planets. So what, Pluto answered. I've still got a big heart. Planets should be much larger than their moons, astronomer B added. You're not. Well, I don't care, Pluto said. I like being one of the nine planets in the solar system. Now nobody will know who I am. Excuse me, a boy shouted. I have something to say. The astronomer stepped back. Pluto, you will always be my favorite, the child said. I will, Pluto said. Small or big, it doesn't matter, the child said. You're the best. Pluto spun around. <gasps> well, what do you think of that? I'm special. He looked toward the sun. I'd better get going. It's so hot here that I'm starting to melt. <laughs> As Pluto zoomed away, he shouted, Goodbye, Earth! See you around the Milky Way! The end. All right. Did you guys like that story? That was super cute. What would you do if Pluto came to visit us here? Would you be scared or would you talk to him? Hmm. I don't know what I would say. All right. Let's see if we learned what, if, bleh, if we learned any of our wants today. I learned that Pluto was upset because he told, he was told he was a dwarf planet and not a real planet. And I, that made Pluto feel sad, a little sad. And he even said he got really mad. I also learned that he traveled all the way to Earth to find out why, but that the other planets, they really wouldn't help him out. Hmm. We would help him out, or at least I would. I hope you guys would too. All right, well, that's it for today. Here's some more videos for you guys to check out about space. They're the same as yesterday if you didn't get a chance to watch them, okay? I'll see you guys later in small groups. Have a good one. Bye.